clutter. It stops when you say go. Now, wouldn't that be nice? Today, I want to talk about why does clutter keep on turning up? In the previous uh, videos, I've talked about clutter. I've talked about how I'm very interested in how clutter is an element of the barrier that prevents you and I and 98% of the other people from really getting ahead in our life in the areas of our work and our career development because clutter is a symptom and we can use it as an expression of how things are with us. Does that make some sense to you? So clutter doesn't appear, physical clutter doesn't appear in our life. Uh, half finished projects, uh, stuff like that, they don't appear in our life by accident. They appear in our life because we allow them. And they disappear, they go away when we say go. Now there's a big sign, uh, mysterious sign, <clears throat> in, a, in a field near where I live, uh, a few kilometers away, and, and the sign says it stops when you say no. I'm quite sure it's a very political sign, and uh, there's no other evidence of what they're actually talking about, but the truth remains. We can apply that same truth to clutter in our lives because Dana K. White, a lady, uh, if you're talking um, ethnicity, you could say that it's a very good family name for her. She's in America and um, she, she has come up on my screen on the YouTube here and she talks about well, recently she talked about three layers of cleaning and I thought wow that's so true and then look that up find that video watch it it's great uh, anyway my point was that the clutter in my life will keep on appearing because if if I ignore the first layer of things that need cleaning in my life, in my, in my surfaces, etc., etc. So, for example, we talked about the door, the front door. In the front door area of my house, there are surfaces that are in need of cleaning from time to time, in need of decluttering from time to time, in need of wiping the surface. You see, there's stuff there that shouldn't be there. It came in when I came in the front door. I left it there. And I didn't put it in its place, even though there's probably a place to put it. But I probably need to make a space where I can clear things away there. That's what others would do. Then there's clutter that's there. There's a light, for example, it goes outside. <clears throat> in the feed area for the animals that is sitting there it's been sitting there for more than a day or two that's clutter that's not a daily thing that's been sitting there uh, I use it every day I, I take it out with my like, shoes in the wrong place I, I put my shoes in the wrong place well I don't but you know I could put my shoes in the wrong place and I could pick them up the next morning and take them away with me on my feet <clears throat> That would be at the daily level of mess. Then there's this clutter level, that light, for example, it doesn't belong there. It's been living there for more than a few days. That's a clutter level. It stops when I say go, go, go back to your place and take it there. And it's like a toddler, you know, or a baby. You can tell the baby who can't walk, crawl, or crawl, go but you have to take them there. And so, same with that light. It's yellow and it's square. You probably know the kind of light that I'm talking about. It's an LED light. And 
it's an oblong. And then um, there's the next level, the surface on which that yellow oblong light is sitting. That probably, probably people sneeze there. They might cough there. Uh, dust might settle there. Well, that surface needs sanitizing, cleaning, wiping, something. How am I going to do that if I left a pen there, I left a light there, I picked the pen up in the morning and it should go on the other side of the kitchen door. And so into this space where it belongs. And so that's how, how it is with the clutter. That's how it happens. I need to get rid of the daily stuff. I need to get rid of the clutter and I need to get down to the surface. I hope that's of value to you today.